we've just spotted. Chris is really excited because he spotted the Hulk. <laughs> Look, it's a castle. Good morning and welcome to, well, it's day one of the Universal trips actually. Um, so today we're heading to Universal for the first time. We're going to be doing lots of the Harry Potter stuff and whatnot. Uh, my hair will probably be different the next time you see me because it just won't do what I want it to do today. <laughs> Um, so yes, it's Universal Day, heading out very, very soon, and yeah, I'm going to enjoy all the uh, Harry Potter stuff today, is the plan, I'll try to get most of that done today, because um, that in itself is probably the most popular parts of the park. Um, so let me show you what I'm wearing. Okay, let's take you over to the mirror. It's exciting. Okay, so I actually bought this t-shirt yesterday. I suppose you probably can't see it as well in the mirror, because it's going to be back to front. Uh, uh, uh. Um, and again, just my Boohoo mom shorts and my trusty Vans. Um, is that a better shot of the t-shirt? It's a doggy. <laughs> right, okay, yeah, I'm going to try and sort this out. And I will see you at Universal. <sighs> just pulled up at Universal. Got my Harry Potter t-shirt on because today is a Harry Potter day. Yeah. Now she's got her Harry Potter t-shirt on. As they will have already seen. Okay, fine. Sorry, I forget you do your little things in the morning. So, off to City Walk, Starbucks, get some coffee and breakfast, bakeries of some kind, and then we need to go to guest services, start an assisted disability pass, and then off to Harry Potter land. Hogsmeade, I think, first. Here we go. Entering City Walk. Okay. It's starting to get a little bit warmer. Look, it's cowfish! <laughs> really excited to try cowfish. Hopefully we'll get in there today. So this is where we're coming for lunch. <gasps> Look, let's choose some. The uh, chocolate emporium. It's crazy. All this stuff that I've been uh, looking up all this time and we're finally here. Ooh. Adventure begins. Although first I need to go buy a new memory card because I'm um, transferring, um, yeah, <laughs> I suppose. We're having a lot of issue transferring stuff from a memory card to computer. I went to transfer just a fraction of it last night and it said it was going to take 15 hours for just like a gigabyte or something. So I'm just going to buy a new memory card. So, got an SD card. I can actually record for you guys today because I'm running very long. Um, that's a tip though. It's probably going to end up on one of my things. Is take a lot of memory cards. We'd planned on just plugging them into the laptop but it's just taking too long. I don't know what's going on. Um, but I got you covered. <laughs> Look what I just spotted. Chris is really excited because he spotted the Hulk. <laughs> Look, it's a castle. Oh yeah. God, he wants to go on this probably several times. <laughs> I was hoping there was a ride coming. I don't think it is. Oh my God, it's like several loops. Whoa. <laughs> and then I believe in front of that, that must be Velocicoaster. Oh, there we go, it's going round. Just careful I don't fall down these steps while I am recording this video, because that would be interesting to catch on camera, wouldn't it? <laughs> and I believe the rocks in front of us, that's Mythos, which we're booked into for lunch on Tuesday? And here we go, this is Universal Islands of Adventure. So, I don't know what this is. But yeah, this is Mythos. Velocicoaster, which is the newest ride in the parks. That's Hogwarts behind, guys. And here's the Hulk. Oh, there's one coming. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, was it? Right. And now I'm going to head back and find Chris, who's in the Starbucks line. <laughs> Into the Starbucks breakfast options. And the drink options. It's starting to get really warm, so I don't think I'm going to get a coffee now. I think I'm going to get a cold drink. This is Mango and Dragon Fruit Refresher. 
Chris has got a white chocolate, a toasted white chocolate mocha. And we're sharing a roasted tomato and a mozzarella panini, which doesn't look, doesn't look as nice as the uh, one they had on show, to be fair. <laughs> I don't think. I think it looks better because it's melted. Yeah, I melted cheese. This is the other one, and like, it's going to be loaded with like, roasted tomatoes. Look, look, they're all there. Taste, 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 taste. And we're sat just watching the Hulk go around before we head to Hogwarts. past all the Marvel stuff on our way to Hogsmeade. Right. And there's Spidey. Look, just exiting Jurassic Park. <laughs> What's ahead? <laughs> Look where we are. It's been snowing. It's like being at home. I definitely found the busiest area of the park, slash parks. This might even be crazier than bloody Disney. I think Toy Story Land is our busiest at Disney. But it's the castle. Going into Hogwarts. Hello! <laughs> no, it's fine, I'm doing alright. So on the house points, in fact it's better on the camera than um, in person, you can't tell the colours. Oh, Gryffindor's kicking ass! Anyway, we thought 
do is meet me in the room of requirement. From there, we'll fly down to the Quidditch pitch. Of course, we'll need a bit of magic. A spell I learned from a world class Quidditch player. Her mind knows all these spells, you see. Well, you're making it snow again. Why does that always happen? Her mind, if you would. So you this is what the ride's actually really? like currently. I won't be allowed to take my camera on. You're not even dressed properly. Listen, cool. dear. I scored the winning goal in the 1860s. Hi. So we've just come out of the forbidden journey. Yeah. Yeah, nope, not doing that again. No. Great ride. Nope. Really, really nope. good ride. Nope. Because it's got a blatantly fake spider in it, Ash won't entertain it because she's a child. I spent half it with my eyes shut and then the other half just worrying about the first half. Yeah, so... She looked really sharp. It's because I have to bend, because alright, then I'll stand up normally. <laughs> exactly, it doesn't work. I have to, every video I've been crouching down. Fine, yeah, so it's a no from me. I mean, it was good. I appreciated the actual... That's better than every ride at Disney. Yeah, the ride was good. I just, no, it's a no from me. But you liked it. Yeah, about from some idiots sat next to me for half Okay, well, you, Chris can go back on. <laughs> What's a bit? We've got a frozen butter beer and a regular butter beer. And there's our goats. Right. Cheers. Cheers. Good stuff. Right. Is that the normal? That's the normal. normal. Okay. Frozen. <laughs> I mainly got froth there because it is frozen, it's like a smushy. I'm drinking through the straw. Mm -hmm. stuff. You're going to definitely have to wipe your mouth after these. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Cheers. Yeah, she had a bit like cream soda. It feels like drinking a beer but she got the bottle. Um, yeah, it's a weird one, that one. It's quite nice though, very sweet. Um, okay, I'm gonna try the frozen one. It's really good on a day like today. It's very hot. I know, while black. Oh, it's the big.
dong calls for Christmas, calls for Christmas, ding dong, ding dong, make the Christmas morning bright, fly high across the sky, light the Christmas night. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, bring the hallboard bell. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, calls to Christmas well. Here to share some music with you during this most magical holiday season. This Christmas at Hogwarts is an extra special one, as this year we are hosted the Troy Wizard Tournament, and with it comes the Yule Ball. The walls of the Great Hall will be covered in sparkling silver frost as the students dance the night away under the enchanted starry night sky. <laughs> Halloween Christmas show. It's cool. 50 cent off a Beetlejuice costume. Please 
side. Who is riding the motorbike? And who is riding the sidecar? Row requests such as the front row, the back row, or any row in between. And my personal favorite row, row 8, will not be accommodated. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we cannot accommodate any row requests. Hello, don't Hello. mind my hair. We've just been on Hagrid's and it kind of blew. I suppose, yeah. <laughs> blew yeah, about a lot. Doing in the shade. Just to sort that out. So yes, we've just been on Hagrid's magical, magical creature, creature motorbike ride, something like Yeah, I took a picture of the sign. Yeah, um, well, the video. Um, so that was good fun. Yeah, no spiders like in that one. So, Proper no. roller coaster. Yeah, so yeah. I, I was on the bike. I yeah, was in the spoil it, but um, yeah, super fun. And I didn't lose my phone this time. Yes. I came here two years ago and went on Hagrid's and I lost my phone in my pocket yeah. and miraculously a week later it turned up in the post. So fully charged. Fully charged, fully yeah. Charged. So I can't complain uh, but this time yeah. managed to keep hold of it. So now we're goodness. heading through Seuss's Landing to have a mooch, you might see the Grinch. Um, and then to City Wall the to Cowfish, yeah. Uh, to Cowfish for some lunch and then yes. we're gonna Excited. Head back here, catch the train across to Diagon Alley. Hogwarts Express, yeah. the train. Well, it is a train. Uh, Hogwarts Express up to Diagon Alley, and then we're going to see what's there. So we'll check back in. I'm guessing we'll check back in the cowfish. Oh, God, I'll, I'll do. I'll okay. check in with all day. Okay, see you soon. Bye. Coming up here is Mythos, the best theme park restaurant in the world. We're booked in here on Tuesday for lunch. Um, but it's quite impressive. Obviously, I'll show you more about it on Tuesday. Um, <laughs> it won't be Tuesday as you're watching, I'm sure. Uh, but the theming is great. But uh, recommendation is to get a reservation. It's a beautiful day. It's far too warm not to be honest. We're wearing a black t-shirt. It's crazy. Um, so we're now entering Merry Merry Zeus Landing, which is done up all Christmassy. Moose, goose, juice. Sorry, Mum. <laughs> Was I walking backwards? As you're leaving the park, says the adventure lives on. So we're out of the park and now on to City Walk, which is where we're having lunch, hopefully in Cowfish. We didn't make a reservation because we weren't sure what time. Um, but I think for lunchtime it's not too bad, it's more if you go in when the park's closed, that they can get a little bit busy. So over there's Margaritaville. Love myself a margarita, but unfortunately the vegetarian options in the menu weren't the best. But, which is why when I came in, they do have a bar. Just a little bar that sells margaritas, so maybe later. Um, but yeah, lunch should be down here somewhere. Hopefully we can get in. <laughs> Great, you can see it. There's cowfish. It's got the fish on top. It's Chris racing to go check but we can get a table. Um, I imagine we're okay. Sushi burger bar and there's lots of tables up there if you can see on the like little outdoor balcony bit. I think we should be should be alright. Yes, there's a whole thing, cowfish. So there's a sushi burger bar, lots of burgers, they've got good veggie options. Sushi's meant to be quite good. Um, I do like veggie sushi. Okay, so here we go. I'll let you know when we're inside. <laughs> so cowfish give you a thing to scan to get the menu on your phone but if you ask they will also give you a paper version and um, we've been looking at our phones i must admit i've read this menu many many times i'm gonna ask if they'll do me a bento box but a veggie version so this is the cocktail that i ordered the cocktail it is a grapefruit smash which comes with vodka, lime juice, honey syrup, fresh Florida grapefruit, basil and cracked black pepper. What's this one? A burger. This one's a burger? That's a burger. That's a burger. It's a burger. It's a, it's a bloody um, big burgers. 
This one's a dynamic duo. I remember she said that one. Dynamic duo. This is Burgerushi. And this is my bento box. Yes, this one's a dynamic duo, which is what? Beef burger, braised short rib, sweet roasted garlic, provolone cheese, tomato onion jam, lettuce onion, tomato uh, onion roll. Okay, and this one? Is the cowfish has officially left the building. Okay. Full pound beef burger, creamy peanut butter, fried bananas, applewood bacon in a brioche bun. Okay. Uh, oh, the big squeal. The big squeal. Big burger, pulled pork, smoked gouda cheese, onion strings, bacon coleslaw, barbecue sauce, lettuce pickles and a brioche bun. Okay. So my veggie bento box comes with edamame. I think this is Thai style like pickled cucumber. Veggie burger, sweet potato fries. We've got uh, wasabi, garlic, soy sauce and tree hugger sushi. Hi, so just come out with cowfish. Ah, you need a really long round or something. Um, not universally enjoyed, I don't think. <laughs> universally. <laughs> Universal. Um, it was nice. It was just, in all fairness, we ordered a couple of burgers and a couple of starters and the burger rushi. The mains came out before the, the appetizers. appetizers did. We didn't get any curry and because we decided to share three burgers between my lot, we were waiting on knives and forks. By the time we got the knives and forks, the food had cooled a bit. And stand up a bit, you know. And because we could stand up. That's fine, look. In the angle. Um, no. um, <laughs> by the time it all came, and the burgers are that stuffed full of toppings, it's kind of hard to divide it and fall without losing bits and bobs. Um, it was fine. Maybe if I came on my own, not my own, me and Ashley came. So she'd get a veggie stuff, I'd get something that was meaty just for me, it would be a better experience. But I enjoyed, yeah. what, I enjoyed what I had, it was all very nice. I liked it. The uh, pickled Thai cucumbers, they're really nice. Um, the veggie burger, if I, if I was to come back, which I highly doubt we will be, um, the veggie burger I would actually get as a main because that was really, really nice. Yeah. No, the, that little sample. Hi! <laughs> the pickled fries are really good. <laughs> <laughs> Really no, it's a cutie guy. I think he's laughing at the fact that Chris is bent down against the camera. <laughs> um, yeah, no, the pickle fries were good, but at that point I'd had like a burger and a half and lots of fries and the crab dip. Crab dip again was nice, but we're, we're making the mistake of ordering too much food. We're ordering it as you do. Yeah, like an appetizer, an appetizer in America isn't like a starter at home. It is literally like you could share it amongst your table. Yeah, but so we're ordering when we're hungry. We're getting way too much food and coming away pogged and then that might be taking away some of the I'm actually, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm filled nicely. I don't feel stuffed. I'm, I'm happy to go ride a roller coaster. <laughs> I'll ride a roller coaster if you do, but I'm yeah. full. So yes, now we're off to back through Islands of Adventures uh, yeah, to, to Hog the Hogwarts Maid. Express. Hogwarts Express, catch you to Diagon Alley. Um, yeah, we're doing it backwards because we're wizards. Yeah. So Diagon Alley and check that out yep. and do what's right over there? Uh, Gringotts. Gringotts, just get Gringotts. So we'll get in the queue, I'll take get in the queue for that, get in the virtual queue for that. Yeah, so very long. We'll thing. let you know how that goes. I'm going to go off screen because I really need a book. <laughs> God. Right, so yes, we will see you in, uh, in on the train, on the Hogwarts Express, I should imagine. Um, it started to look a little bit overcast, a little cloudy, but it's still very, very warm. Um, I think it's been up to like 27 today. It's been very hot. Anyway, catch you later. It's starting to see the Christmas lights coming out in uh, Hogsmeade. <laughs> Very busy. So three broomsticks pub. Just a little cheeky nosy. After a nice quiet spot during the parks, and um, behind me, like behind the three broomsticks, it's actually really, really quiet, and you get a good view of the Lost Cluster. Um, so it's really worth checking out.
starting on the Hong Kong Express, guys. Sorry. We're back home, we're in England. <laughs> Here we are, we made it to London. <laughs> Eventually. Eventually, after, yeah, that, that was an experience. <laughs> Gone alley on a night time. We smell food. <laughs> it's with a leaky cauldron. And there's the dragon, which I don't think you can even make out because <laughs> it's too dark. Little goblin. Okay, so we're into Gringotts. I'm guessing down here, yeah. for a little look. Okay, so Walmart's huge. huge. <laughs> In my element. <laughs> it's just all pickles. <laughs> Americans like their Oreos. I've just seen a really pretty little mermaid bowl. Frivolous. It's probably frivolous. Beautiful though. <laughs> Imagine trying to take that back on the aeroplane. <laughs> One of those. <laughs> you can get a wrap made of cheese to make your sandwich with. It's my kind of thinking. Well, that sounds good to me. <laughs> my kind of thinking. Sounds good to me. <laughs> All the flavours of Philadelphia they've got. Oh, Garden Philadelphia. vegetable. Strawberry Philadelphia. Brown sugar and cinnamon. <laughs> Brown sugar and cinnamon. Honey pecan. Oh my god. Where are these in our life? I'm quite interested in the garden vegetable one where I have absolutely no need for it while we're here. <laughs> Buffalo whipped. Oh, just Philadelphia cheesecake filling. <laughs> cheesecake filling. Yeah. Philadelphia cheesecake, no bake. Just heat a bottle. Yeah, just a spoon. Just yeah, just a spoon. Just a spoon. <laughs> 
Anybody got just a little bit of sour cream? You, that, that's an Ashley portion. Well, that lasts you like 24 hours, maybe? It's five pound in there. <laughs> five pound, that's a bargain. Five pound for less than seven dollars. Five pound for five pound? Probably. Um, oh, of random, yeah. random like chilies and stuff you can get. <laughs> 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 just, oh, I think I'll come back to America for ages just to kind of uh, eat. <gasps> Crispy jalapenos. Oh, maybe. Oh, look at all the fresh stuff. Mm. Look at everything. I'm in my element, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Nice selection of men's t shirts. Have some really interesting choices of outfits. <laughs> I found a Christmas jumper I really want, and if it was in my size, I would be tempted. Feliz Navidad! Even comes with little uh, chili dealy boppers. <laughs> it's the definition of a gaudy sweatshirt, isn't it, for Christmas? Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> well, Matt was really interesting to look around. Um, lots of interesting stuff. Um, <laughs> we've been queuing for literally ever, haven't we? So long. So long. We thought we'd just pop in, but most of the time it mean, took us a queue. We left the theme park over two hours ago. We didn't take us that long to get out, and we thought we'd pop into Walmart on the way yeah, back. Yeah, quick little look. We're, I mean, we did have a little bit of a good browse, but then it's like the, the, the queues were taking us just as long. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. If you want to pop into Walmart, be prepared for a long queue. We do get bags. So we were, I was worried we weren't going to get anything yeah. in bags to put there. So shopping. Yeah, there is. Obviously there's five of us. <laughs> Big ass pickles. Yeah. We've got four nights left here, so we're going to have to do some pickle munching. Mm -hmm. Hi. I didn't say that sign off again last night. Um, it wasn't necessarily because I forgot, I actually kind of went to bed, turned the light off and everything rather than falling asleep last night. Um, but no, we had a good day at um, Universal. We did try to get all the Harry Potter stuff done so that when we go back to the parks, um, we've got the Harry Potter stuff under our belt. Um, and if we have time, obviously, we can do some more again. Um, we were discussing last night what our favourites were. I think we both agreed that Hagrid's was probably the best. I think if Gringotts had been longer, that probably would have been my favourite. Really enjoyed that one. Um, but yeah, no, super fun, good day. Um, apart from Walmart, Walmart was an absolute mickey take. Um, we, we just had a little look around and I think we ended up queuing at a till with not many people in front of us for about 40 minutes. So yeah, maybe stop at Walgreens if you come in. But Walmart is a massive store to look through and um, certainly interesting. So it's worth a look if you want to, but be prepared that the tills seem to be moving very very slow anyway i'm gonna sign off now so drop me a comment and let me know what you thought of today's vlog what were your favorite bits um and hit the like button if you've liked the video give me a huge thumbs up that'd be fantastic and make sure you subscribe because there's more coming your way very very soon i'm gonna film the intro to that one now